hello fam welcome back to our channel when the videos pictures of um, traditional rulers uh, from Fulani extract you know emerge from the southwest where we, we get to see things like Sekin, the things you see things like emea coming up there was quite a lot of outrage when governors from some of the southwestern states paid homage you know to some of these um, Sekins and emeas in southwest a lot of nigerians were wondering why should that be if right now we are getting to see things like Sekin and we're seeing things like Emea in South Africa very soon uh, the Fulanization agenda according to Nigerians uh, you know will become full swing that by the time history is a bit a little bit distorted we will not be hearing things like in 1942 or 1844 uh, the Fulanis had actually been living there before the, uh, the South East, uh, Southwesterners came into bed a lot of persons condemned that move well as you speak you know your state yeah there's another one coming up and nigerians have decided to make move to correct this impression once and for all but this time they're now assuring that since we are still on one nigeria quote unquote and that means also that organogram should be followed very strictly as in the northern part of nigeria things are orderly done and they are followed in organogram style but before we go into the news proper to find out what it is that is going on in southwest and southwesterners are trying to correct the narrative now before it gets too late to like it subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube well olu of ibado olu ibado of ibado land or basaliu adeju ade tunji ade tunji has ordered the sakin sasa haruna mai yasin kasina to operate under the leadership of bale of sasha chief amusa ajani he gave the advice during a peace meeting with members of fulani hausa community over the crisis that engulfed sasha market last month Represented by Otun Olubado High Chief Lekon Balogun, who led other high chiefs at the meeting, the monarch said that the structure of traditional leadership in Ibado is clear, that Bale is the overall leader in every community in Ibado land, including the Hausa Fulani community. He urged the Hausa leader to operate under the Bale for smooth administration and structural peace. Gasina is the chairman of Arawa communities in the 17 southern states of Nigeria. Mm. Oba Tunji, Oba De Tunji strongly advised the Sakin should face the reality that irrespective of the honor accorded to him, he is under the chieftaincy stool of the community leader of Sasha, Chief Amusa, Ajani, where he resides. The monarch complained the preeminent position granted the Sariki in Sasha in the scheme of things in the state was unbecoming, asking all the relevant authorities to know and accept the fact that the community leader is under the ballet of Sasha. Good. Now let's look at this very critically. In other other, other communities in other states, even that keep hearing things like um is in Debo in the north. It's almost as if it's just a case of title. There's really no over special thing. Just that when you're coming to we are speaking about the Igbo community in the north, you, you go through him so that he can gather his people and tell them. But they don't even dare as a as, as a matter of um, order. They don't even dare to say they want to compare their titleship with the original core northerners that's their mayor. As how, if you want to look for a ship or kingship, you go to your village in the east to go and do that. They're just giving you that title so that you can use it to harness your community. You are not in the same level or structure with um, an emir in the in the in the north. And same goes also to the to the south southwesterners. When you hear things like Oba in the north, it's just a title to identify your community and when they want to pass information down to your community, they, you know, you know pass it, route it through you. They, they, they stay in peace, generally, but, you know, you just know that you're not in the same cadel authority with the Emir 
in that north and that is the truth yes they bear those name but it's more of title you know to identify rather than authority as the case may be but in the north southwest it's a bit different you begin to hear sakin uh, you begin to hear things like emir when Bala is sitting, you also want to see it. It's such that you begin to hear the Hausa Fulani community want to fight the Yoruba community in Yoruba land. Because the Hausa community, this is our community, nobody should enter my community. No. You are, um, yes, we all go by virtue of constitution, we should live in any part of the country. But don't forget, there are people who are indigenous to that place. They are the original, they are the originators of that place community you have visitors they accepted you as their own yes i think you should actually you know follow the rules and laws of that place so that you can live in peace if they say please don't pour those being in the night then you don't pour those being in the night if in your community where you come from they usually they pour out those being in the night that is your community and that's their law there but in where you are now residing the law is opposite that law you're used to you must adopt you must adapt. You must change your orientation to suit that community. But if you feel you are not comfortable, then you have to leave to go to a place where you know you can adapt. But if you can't, then you must leave. But if you can't, then you are just, which means you are subject to the law in that community. And who are the custodians of some of these laws? Are the Obas, the Bahales. So why would you be now? Why would you now come into a community because you are ident you are identifying you as okay? This is an M A. This is um, a northerner. Okay, for all the northern community, we'll be passing, or we'll be routing our information through this person. So okay, that means that's your second or that's your M A. So that we don't keep calling all of you one one. We won't pass the information to your second or to your M A. We are so sure it's going to get to you. Now you're not competing, and now you know equating your authority. So it's good they actually corrected this impression because by the time the narrative changes and history is distorted, then we begin to hear in history that in 1544, the Fulanis actually came in in their mass in Oyo State. They were the first originators before Yorubas came in. We will hear by the time the next, this generator goes off the next generation that's the kind of history they'll be hearing so, so to a great extent i must commend uh, the the high chiefs for coming into play i just hope that it's not just a lip service because it's things like this where there's no law there is actually no sin there's no crime or there's no law so when the law is being enacted then it's easier to identify criminals and lawbreakers so that you cannot give adequate punishment i just hope that um they will take adhere to this new rule and adjust accordingly you know these things are getting out of hand and sometimes it's, enforcement is really needed i think it's a thumb up for me uh, for, for coming from uh, the high chiefs who actually decided to correct this now before it becomes a trend and a norm that's what we're going to wrap it up what's the take on what um, the high chiefs have decided to correct the impression that look no matter the honor you think you're receiving you are definitely under the ballet of sasha and i think it actually should go around the whole south southwest and south southern states as a whole let's listen to that comment section what's the take do you think they were being high-handed or do you think as an emir is an emir anywhere in nigeria and should be given the same authority and honor like every other authority